Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for May 24th, 2023 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. There were favorable southerly winds overnight, so Kim and I started the morning at around 5.20 a.m. at the Charlotte Pier. And there wasn't really a sunrise, but the sun did peek out from behind a cloud momentarily. From the Charlotte Pier, you can scan across to the Somerville Pier, where we spotted this short-billed dowager. Here it is in flight, and the photo's grainy because it was so dark out, but they kind of have an orange coloration or reddish to the upper breast area, and then it's whiter down here on the belly. They have a really long, straight bill. And dowagers also have this interesting white patch on the back. I think the bird of the morning was semi-palmated sandpiper. We had numerous flocks, for anywhere from about 10 to 20 birds, up to 50 birds or more. And not to be left out, we also had some semi-palmated plovers. In a lot of my videos, especially earlier in the season, I showed a lot of photos of killdeer, which is the most common shorebird that we get flying over the Hawkwatch. And semi-palmated plovers are kind of a smaller version of a killdeer with only one breast band. With the flocks of semi-palmated sandpipers, we also had some dunlin mixed in, and they're distinctive because they have black on the underside. We also had two great egrets fly by. And these northern rough-winged swallows seemed unhappy with each other. Here's another flock of semi-palmated sandpipers, and we also had small numbers of least sandpipers mixed into the groups. Even when we're away from the hawkwatch, we gotta pay attention to the raptors. Here's an osprey. And as we were heading back to the car, we had a nice look at this white-colored mallard. So not sure if this is some sort of pigment issue or some kind of domestic mallard, but cool-looking bird. While we were out on the pier, the text alert went out that there was cerulean warbler singing at the firehouse woods. And we decided we were going to stay at the pier. And then the text alert came out that there was prothonotary warbler. So I decided to swing by the firehouse woods on my way over to the Hawk Watch because I was driving right past it anyway. So I went to the firehouse woods, made a quick stop, heard the cerulean warbler singing. I never did get a look at it but I did get a nice look and photos of the prothonotary warbler, which you see here. So you may think it looks kind of similar to yellow warblers, but let me point out a few things. First of all, yellow warblers, the yellow goes all the way down here to the undertail. And that's actually a good field mark for identifying yellow warblers because they're really the only ones that show that. But you can see this bird has white feathers here in the undertail area. And the other thing that stands out about it is the dark wing. And they have a really pretty song. It's kind of like rising notes. After the quick stop at the firehouse woods, I rushed over to the hawk watch to get started. And all morning it had been fairly nice with calm winds and a little bit of sunshine. But by the time I reached the hawk platform, the front had hit and it was starting to get cloudier. The winds were fairly gusty out of the west, shifting more northwest and eventually more northerly and just overall unfavorable conditions for a raptor flight, but we did have a little bit of activity. Here's one of two northern harriers that migrated by early on. And here's the top side of a spotted sandpiper from in front of the platform. This green heron also flew across in front of me. And there were only a few turkey vultures, but the local Cooper's hawk still took the opportunity to chase one of them. The conditions continued to deteriorate with eventually rain moving in around 11 a.m. that shut down the hawk count. So I went back to the church trail where I had this nice black pole warbler. And then we birded the firehouse woods again. And then I called it a day because I took lots of shorebird photos in the morning that I wanted to go through. But even though the sun came out later in the day, the wind stayed pretty strong from the north. So I did not restart the hawk watch. Taking a look at the eBird checklist from the Charlotte Pier in the morning, we had 38 species. At the Firehouse Woods, I just put in an incomplete checklist for the Prothonotary and Cerulean, along with Morning and Canada Warblers. From the Hawk Watch, we had 30 species. At the Church Trail, we also had 30 species in the rain. And that final run through the Firehouse Woods, we had 40 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had eight turkey vultures, four bald eagles, and two northern harriers for a total of 14 migrants. That brings the May total to 12,126 and the season total to 48,951. The new species for the season today were least sandpiper, semi palmated sandpiper, short billed dowager, prothonotary warbler, and cerulean warbler. 
And taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking sunny with a high around 60. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour, so it's an unfavorable wind direction. Would only expect light migration, although it may be a fairly pleasant day to be out. For Friday, it's looking sunny with a high around 65. Winds north-northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So again, looking like a pleasant day, but expect light, maybe moderate migration. And for Saturday, looking mostly sunny, up around 70 degrees for the high, and light northerly winds. So once again, expect light to moderate migration. And someone passed me along a message for a job opportunity, an immediate hire for an Eastern Whippoorwill avian field technician for the Research Foundation for the State University of New York at SUNY Brockport. So if you're interested in working with Whippoorwills this summer, I will include the link in the description and you can check it out. All right, another great day of birding with a lot of excitement running over there to the firehouse woods to pick up prothonotary warbler and cerulean warbler, two species that can be really difficult to get and are always fun to see and hear. We're coming up on the end of the migration. We have one more week for the hawk watch and the songbirds should be winding down as well, but obviously still some excitement as we catch these final migrants of the spring. Hope to see you out in the field soon or up on the hawk watch platform. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.